Hey guys, it's finally here, the new Optus second generation ultra Wi-Fi modem, 150 times faster supposedly than the first generation. Also, you can have 128 devices connected to this bad boy. Plus, if your NBN dies, no problem. You get 25 megabits per second on the LTE Wi-Fi uh, 4G network. How pretty cool is that? And we're gonna be diving into all that today. And obviously we're just doing an unboxing going by the title as you can see. We'll do a setup in then another coming video, maybe doing a speed test, but um, speed tests are a little bit hard with uh, MBN because there's so many different variants. You know, you've got the HFC, you've got fiber to the node, you've got fiber to the premises, you've got sometimes there's even different ones. There's multiple different ones available out there. Also you've got wireless NBN um, too. So there's so many different versions of NBN, but I will do a speed test on this bad boy, I did get the biggest plan, so we should be able to get up to 650 megabits on this modem, especially what Optus said was available in my area. Again, that will be a video that you will see in the coming weeks or probably the coming couple of days. Uh, so let's jump into the video and show you what you first of all get. Now, another thing I just want to note to you guys, this modem is 95% uh, recycled plastic, okay? Or recycled materials. I can't remember which one it was. So yeah, let's have a little bit of a look. So I'll tip the box up because I believe it opens this way. Okay. So I probably should have just standed it up. That's a bad idea. Alright, let's have a look at what these pamphlets are talking about first and then we can really um, get started. So basically it's talking about the different Wi-Fi configurations. Now everyone knows basically if you're on MBN, plug it into the red one here the red uh, thing um, and so on. It tells you what the lights indicate at different versions and so on. And you get a little Wi-Fi card it looks. So that's exciting to see because I know some mobile prov uh, internet providers, they don't provide a Wi-Fi card anymore, which is so annoying. You gotta tip the modem around, find the Wi-Fi details, it's so annoying. But it looks like this one comes with a QR code and also a little magnet. So we'll have a dive into that. All right, so this is basically your coverage so if you have any issues you can just call that number this is a safety instruction which we're definitely not going to look at um, so this is for the phone line or if you have DSL I believe you can use this cable also we have a LAN cable and the in th the MBN cable should be a red cable yeah so that would be the cable you plug into your HFC modem or whatever motor, whatever MVN you've got connected, that's what you connect from here into the modem, obviously. And then lastly, we have, oh yes, so there we go. We've got the magnet, which is cool. You've got the QR code, seems very cool. And then we have a power adapter, which is awesome. And let's get to the good part, the actual modem. Now, I don't know how we're gonna get this one out. It's so tightly put in here. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if it comes with anything else. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure that would be basically it. I don't think they'd hide anything else. No, nah, that's everything. So, let's have a look at this modem. As you see, it's quite a big chunky modem it looks like it would be a very fast modem it is apparently a wi-fi 6 modem so as you can see it's a bit hard because it's black but we've got the power the dsl the internet the wi-fi the telephone now that's if you opted to get a telephone through optus if you didn't that will not light up and then you've got your 4g backup if your internet or your mbn goes offline for some reason it will automatically go onto that backup network now the back of the modem i thought was the most impressive to be honest i was quite excited about this is the fact that they got rid of USB which I don't know about the first generation if it had USB so they now just put a USB-C which is nice and convenient I can just plug in the iPad um, with USB-C and easily charge it okay so we've got the LAN cables here which is cool you've got your the WAN now that's for your MBN okay if you are using XDSL plug your cable in here and then you've got two phone ports, okay? And then obviously your USB, I mean your um, SIM card will go in here. Okay, so your SIM card that w they provide you will go in there. And then up there is if you wanna add external 
uh, basically antennas to get a better 4G signal, but there's no point to do that because this modem is purely for NBN, not for, um, you know, 4G. Because remember, this router, this modem does have a limit. So they basically have a limit on the SIM. So you will never be able to get over 25 megabits on that 4G service, unless you plug an external SIM in. And there's a good chance it may just be rejected and blocked. So that's basically everything there. And that is the modem. How cool is it? What do we got? What do you guys think? Do you think it's pretty cool? And there's another cool thing that I just want to show you is if you don't want the Wi-Fi, just say you've got a faster modem and you just want to take advantage of the fact that this has a 4G backup, you can turn your Wi-Fi off by just tapping on that button, okay? And that will turn it off if you want to plug an external modem in, okay? So that's the modem right there. So you can see that. You basically get your Wi-Fi card there. You get a LAN cable for something else if you want to plug something in, an external modem into this or plug it into your Foxter, whatever. That goes into your uh, NBN modem. This is for your XDSL or your uh, phone line. So if you've got a phone. And that's your power cable. And that's basically what you're kind of getting with the new Optus second generation ultra Wi-Fi modem. And we'll be doing definitely doing a bit of a, bit of a setup um, later. But yeah, that's the modem, and what do you guys think? Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video.